Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Riley. And I'm Mike Hugh. We hope you enjoyed your day off. The end of the school year is coming to a close. Most of us have about 20 days left, and Ridgeline only has one broadcast after today. So we hope you enjoy these last two shows. And speaking of today, here's what we have in today's show. Brennan brings us to a, note, to a new store in Colorado Springs, and Mikey brings us to the Pioneer Museum. But before we get to all that, we have some announcements. The Senior Practicum is proud to present their film. The film is written, directed, and performed by seniors. Opening night is April 29th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets will be $5. Powder Puff Football will be Wednesday, May 12th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Don Breeze. AP students who paid to take the AP exam. Exams will take place on May 3rd through, the, through May 17th. Now, on to the show. Brennan decided to take a look at a new giant store off of InterQuest. Hey, Bears. You want to you buy some clothing? Sorry, let me correct myself. Clothing, furniture, sporting equipment, um, food, candy, toys, and the list goes on. All right, I'm currently at the new Shields that just opened up in InterQuest. Come on, I'll show you. Shields is a big, big sporting goods store down here in InterQuest. Once you walk into the store, you will pass through a nice arch aquarium. Then, soon enough, you'll get yourself lost in clothes, home decorations, sporting goods like golf clubs or fishing lines, and oh, look, it's a moose. Oh, and there's a big toy area with Legos, Nerf guns, regular toys, and even Baby Yoda. The question is, though, what is Shields exactly? That's a great question. It's, it's honestly difficult to explain without people coming into the store and checking it out because we basically embrace everything that has to do with the outdoor passions, the outdoor industries. The best way to explain it for people who haven't been in is it's kind of like combining a Bass Pro Shops, a Dick's, an REI, and a Nordstrom all into one building. Did I also mention that Shields has a big Ferris wheel inside of it? Uh, but sadly, I couldn't get on it. They weren't allowing people on it yet. But hey, at least you guys can go to Fuzzy Wood's Candy Factory and get yourself some nice candy bars. Or you can get yourself some nice fudge. Or you can go hang out by the arcade area with the boys, your homies. For Ridgeline, this is Brandon Ledlow. Thanks, Brandon, for showing us that. I'll be sure to check it out sometime. Up next, Mikey takes us to look at the Westward expansion into Colorado. The Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum is a cool place to go and learn about Colorado. Before this project begins, I would like to apologize for my shaky camera work. The reason why it is like this is because they do not allow tripods. That being said, Pioneer Museum is a pretty marble-topped palace in downtown Colorado Springs that may have caught your eye if you've been in the area. They offer many exhibits, such as the cultural and native exhibits, an idea of what weapons of the Wild West were like, movie exhibits, and other sorts of cool exhibits. Many of the exhibits in the museum feature bits and pieces of Colorado history, including items from native tribes that once owned the land we are on today. A few of the exhibits explained with visuals and essays showed what it was like to live as a cowboy in the 1800s and what it was like to walk the streets of Colorado in the 1920s. The exhibits showed many different walks of life for these times periods, which is very interesting to see. Other than walks of life, they also show crime cases and evidence of those cases. Fun fact, the museum is built inside of a former courtroom. Overall, the place is pretty cool to visit if you would like to learn a little bit more about Colorado. For Ridgeline, this is Mikey Beisterfeld. That place looks so cool, and it's definitely a great way to learn about history. Thanks. That's all the projects for the week. Now for the weather. Throughout the week, we'll see some lows in the high 20s and the low 30s. The highs for the week will be between the 60s and 50s. It's going to be mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain. Before we go, we want to thank Carpet Exchange in Colorado Springs for donating carpet to our set. It's not something you will see on camera, but it helps absorb sound and makes the studio look complete. Thank you, Steve, and everyone at Carpet Exchange. Also, thanks to Mr. Dahl, who helped deliver and install the carpet. And while things aren't quite back to normal, one thing continues to be normal, and that's PR's tradition of excellence. Congratulations to our Science Olympiad team for showing their strong showing and sixth place finish at state, and special nods to Ethan Machonen and Ben Carlander, who earned third place medals for their gravity vehicle event. And congrats to our FBLA team, who had a strong showing at the state competition. PR had 17 participants and nine 
placed in the top 10. On top of that, Annalise Hazeloup, Riley Marr, and Reagan Hiltzler qualified for nationals with two second and one third place finishes. And that's it for our show today. Next week is our last show, so we hope you enjoy it. Uh, but in the meantime, we hope you have a great week and finish strong this year.